What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Freed channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in this video I'm going to be giving an update on how things are going here at Crete Carrier. I've not done a video about Crete in a while and the reason that is is that I just haven't had a reason to make a video about Crete. I did a whole bunch of them in my first year driving for them and uh, it's actually been a little over a year and a half since I started with Creek Carrier. I started in the summer of 2022. Uh, I believe it was July I started, and it is now 2024. And so yeah, about a year and a half. Uh, I've been driving a truck, for those of you that are new. I've been driving for five years now. And I started out with Millis Transfer. I drove for them for three and a half years. And I've been driving for Creek for a year and a half. And so in total five years and in total only two trucking companies that I've driven for. And why am I even mentioning that? Well, the reason is, is because in this video, I'm gonna be talking about really the importance of sticking with a job. I don't really care if it is in trucking or any other field. It doesn't really matter. I think getting experience with a company, getting established somewhere really helps you financially it helps with your income it helps with your savings it helps with all of that it helps with your job history your employment history uh, it really helps with people being able to trust you when you're a job hopper and companies look to hire you and they see that you've been to four different companies within the past year uh, they're going to think twice on whether or not they should hire you right and so it's good to have that established job history i really believe that those of you, you might disagree with me but I found it uh, a lot easier to get hired by a different company when they look and see, okay, this guy stayed at that last company for three and a half years. We're going to hire him right away, right? And uh, I'm going to get into that. Uh, but how long do I plan on staying at Crete? Since I have been with them for a year and a half, do I see better opportunities out there? Do I want to switch? Do I want to change? Uh, the answer is no. The answer is no not for the foreseeable future. Seriously, I could see myself staying at Crete for pretty much my entire trucking career. If I stayed a company driver, I would see no reason why I would leave Crete Carrier, being dead serious. And I'm not trying to really convince any of you to come here. If you wanna to come to Crete, come to Crete. If you're interested, you can call a recruiter and ask them your questions. And I'm gonna explain why though that I don't see a reason as to why I would have to leave Crete. I really don't. Unless I were to go on my own. But I'm specifically talking about being a company driver. I really don't see any reason for me personally to quit. Uh, and the reason why is because one, Crete has so many different divisions. They have local, regional, OTR, dedicated. They even have OTR for the west part of the country and the east part of the country, two different OTR divisions. You can do all 48. That's what I do currently. But whenever I'm ready to be home more and I'm willing to sacrifice the pay to be home more, I can just switch divisions. It's not that hard. I don't go got to go find another job just to get home more. And that's the thing with Crete. And the pay is still pretty good. Even, even though the pay is the best if you're doing all 48 uh, over the road, that is the best pay you're going to get at Crete. However, the pay is still pretty good for the regional and dedicated lanes. Even the local guys make pretty good money. If you do a Walmart dedicated fleet, they have that as well. If you do Walmart dedicated and you live in the area that that Walmart distribution center serves, you can get home every weekend and make really good money. If you live in Cheyenne, Wyoming, or you live in Colorado, or you live in Nebraska or Oklahoma, those are some really good divisions to be in. And the point I'm making is, is Crete just has a ton of different options for you. If you want to go out there and hustle and make a bunch of money, you can do that. You can make over six figures as a company driver driving for Crete Carrier all 48 over the road. You can do that. You can make between 80 and 90 being dedicated, being regional. You can 100% do that. I even think their local guys make between 70 and 80,000. Now, for the exact details, the reason why I tell you, if you are interested in this company, you need to talk to a recruiter because the pay depends, and I've said this a million times, 
the pay depends on where you live and what division you want to be in. I can't answer the pay question for you because also too on top of regional dedicated over the road local they have refrigerated division which is Schaefer they have the flatbed division which is Hunt Transportation and they have Crete which is the dry van division so all of those different divisions and lanes all have different pay so I can't answer that for you unless you're very specific in the comment section and you want to ask me exactly what it is you're looking at doing then maybe i can tell you what the pay is but a lot of you do ask me like what's the pay you haven't told us what the pay is well that's the reason that's why i say hey if you're truly interested in this company go on their website look at all the different divisions that that, that are out there and you can actually see what the pay range is and then call a recruiter and ask all the questions that you have pertaining to whatever it is you're interested in doing but the point i'm trying to make is is the reason i'm staying at crete it's very simple is all the different options i have the ability to go out there and make six figures a year i really do and i also have the ability to make 80 to ninety thousand and not really try that hard that's what i like about it here i like that the customers you deal with are very easy a lot of the customers they have are fortune 500 companies uh, meaning you know most of their freight is drop and hook now don't get me wrong you're going to do live loads and live unloads you are but you're doing a lot more drop and hook with a company like crete than you will at a small to mid-sized carrier you just are a hundred percent they have more contract freight well they pretty much have all contract freight at crete and I would say 80 to 90% of it is drop and hook, especially if you're over the road. Now, if you're a reefer driver, you probably do a lot more live loads and unloads, but I'm not a reefer driver, so you need to talk to somebody who is working for Schaefer uh, to get the details about that. But either way, I think really overall, this company is a great, great place to work. And on top of that, see, it, as a company driver, it's amazing, it really is. Also, they have an owner-operator division. You can work for Hunt, Schaefer, and Crete and be an owner-operator with Crete. I'm not going to go into all the details about that, but there's that option. Now, a lot of you may think, may think to yourself, I never want to do that. Well, if you don't want to do that, then it doesn't matter what I'm saying. But there are people that do want to do that. And there are people that are owner-operators at Crete that make very good money and really like it. Actually, I would say... Almost every owner operator I've talked to at Crete really enjoys running under Crete. They really do. And so I'm not going to get into the details, like I said, but I mean, in, in general, I've talked to like 15 different owner operators at Crete, and all of them have said they love it. They're not leaving, and that's what they want to do. And, and another thing I like about it here, too, is that a lot of the drivers are they're veteran drivers there's a lot of old school drivers there's a lot of experienced drivers that work at this company and so i i really enjoy that i really like that because that means this company is going to be a lot safer and their safety score is going to be good so you're not going to have to go through way stations all the time and get inspected all the time that's another big thing is working for a company that has a good safety score good record and uh you know so the pay the record that they have all that's good right and uh, getting home on time I've never been late being home I got I was late one time and it was by a day and that's because I hit a snowstorm so I had no choice but to shut down but as far as them getting you home most of the time they get you home early a day or two early and if you go out there and run hard your dispatcher is not going to complain if you want to take an extra day or two off they're not going to complain if you just stayed out for four or five weeks and you want to take six days off I'm not saying do it every time but occasionally if you need that much time to handle whatever you got to handle at home they will let you do that and that's what i like is the flexibility look when i'm out here i'm going to run hard i'm going to work hard but you know sometimes i scratch your back you scratch mine that's how trucking works and that's what i like about this company as long as you communicate you're good you're good so anyway long story short man i mean i know i'm kind of rambling on here but i've been with crete for a year and a half i don't plan on leaving i see no reason why to leave and i want to end with this a lot of you do bounce from job to job i'm not saying come to crete 
But what I am saying is if you find a situation that is good for you and you enjoy it and you're making good money and you enjoy the lifestyle of working for that company, you just stick it out, man. You stick it out. You don't leave a good situation thinking the grass is greener on the other side, right? Because I see other companies that I could go work for. I see other divisions I can go work in, 100%. I could definitely switch it up, but I see no point because I'm already making the money I can. I want to make. I already have that earning potential here. I already have the opportunity. If I want to buy a truck and become an owner-operator, I can start that out with Crete. Now, if I wanted to go get my own authority and completely start my own carrier, absolutely, I would have to leave Crete. But other than that, other than buying a truck and a trailer and getting my own authority, I'm not going to leave this company. If I just wanted to be an owner-operator leased on to a company, I would probably work for Crete, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, because, and I like that. I like that. I like being established somewhere. I like being somewhere where I'm familiar with all of their customers. I know where all their terminals are. I, I just know pretty much everything that they do, right? It makes it much easier to do your job, especially in trucking. It makes it a lot easier when you know pretty much everything about the company and how they operate. So, and I, I, wanna, I wanna leave with this though. When I say that you can make six figures here at Crete, if you're gonna do that, you gotta get out here and run. Don't come to this company and be mad about your pay if you're not gonna manage your time well if you're not going to get out there and run hard and communicate well with your dispatcher, you're not going to make the kind of money that you can make here, right? You got to get out there and work, right? In order to make that. When I say you can make six figures at Crete, that means that your pay is high enough. Your CPM is high enough. Your total pay is high enough to achieve making that. But you got to get out here and work. You got to get out here and run. This is not an hourly paid job. It's not. This is not that. Trucking is not that. This is a pay-as-you-go job, and in order to make the money in trucking, you got to get out here and hustle and work hard. And, and you may be thinking, well, I don't want to work that hard anymore. I've been doing it for 20 years. Well, you can do that too. Instead of trying to do 3,000 miles a week, you can do 2,500 miles a week, still make pretty decent money, and be home more and not have to push it as hard. It's whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do at this company. The moral of the story is wherever you go in trucking, whether it's here or somewhere else, trucking is what you make of it. It really is. Trucking is what you make of it, and that's what I'm going to leave with. So I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Uh, God bless, and stay tuned for another video in the future. Peace out.